The Forums app is a useful marketing tool that allows you to quickly create, share, and embed forms on your websites and landing pages. You can use these forms in place of default forms on other platforms so that you can keep all of your lead information in one convenient place. To access the Forms app, go to the app drawer on the top right, then click Forms. You will arrive at the My Forms tab by default. This tab houses a table containing all of your created forms and provides a summary of submissions and pending requests. If you are new to the Forms app, no forms will be present in the table. However, you should still see titles for each column, which we will discuss now. The form name is the name you give to your form during the time of creation. Generally, you will want to name your form something that is indicative of the campaign you are using it for, or for the form's general intention. Submissions will be a number that indicates how many users successfully provided a form submission using the said form. Pending requests refers to any outstanding invitations you send to users requesting them to fill out your form. If they have yet to respond to the request, this column will indicate it as such. The form type will qualify all of your created forms under one of three categories, classic, group, or card. Next we have tags and categories. These are classifiers you can manually create to help keep your various forms organized. Also notice the categories and tags filters in the leftmost column on the page. You can edit your categories or tags by hovering over and clicking this button. You can delete them by clicking the trash can. Finally, we have date created and last updated. This shows the exact date and time that either of these actions takes place. You always have the option to quickly search for a specific form by using the search bar at the top of the page. Next, we have the new form button. This allows us to begin creating a custom form and will take us to the second tab, the builder tab. Here, you can select a form type, name your form, and then load the form builder. You can find instructions on how to build every type of form listed in the article below. Finally, we have the Templates tab. The Templates tab houses a large variety of pre-made form templates for you to use. Rather than creating one from scratch, you can browse our wide selection of forms to help you quickly get started. You may find forms that are already set up for a specific purpose, such as collecting leads or booking appointments, and require no additional work on your part. You could start by browsing the various categories in the column located on the left side of the page. Then, hover over a template and preview it at any time. If you like a form, you can hover over and click Create Forms to start. The form type will always be listed in the bottom left corner. To end this video, let's go back to My Forms. The Forms app provides some basic options for customizing your experience. To start, go to the far right side of the screen and click on Manage Columns. This lists all of your columns in your table. If the value has a check, it means that it is appearing in your table. To remove a column, uncheck the box. You can reorganize your columns on the right by dragging and dropping them wherever. You can also delete a column by clicking the X. Note that the form name can never be deleted or moved. When you're finished, click Save. Though a minor change, you can also edit how many items you would like to appear in the table per page in the bottom right. You can select 25, 50, 
or 100 items. Finally, as a reminder, be sure to take advantage of the filters on the left. You can select a category, or a tag, or both, to filter your forms. This covers everything you need to know about the basics of the Forms app.